in Islam, the, the act of worship that you do in helping others is greater in reward in the eyes of God than the act of worship that you do alone. Uh, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said, to go and helping somebody, take care of someone in someone need, better than staying one month, one month, one month in my mosque in exclusion and worshiping God. And for that, what Islam says that you, you, your faith being tested by how you care about other and how you love other and what you share with others. One of the verse or a chapter in the Holy Quran that speaks about the need of uh, engaging in helping those who are in need is a chapter uh, it's called Al-Ma'un. And Al-Ma'un literally in, in Arabic means the tool that people used, whether it is the, uh, could be a pot where you cook or, or it could be a computer, anything that help people uh, to improve their skills of earning sharing the, 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 the tools and sharing the resources, in other words. And in that chapter, God Almighty says, do you see the person who rejects faith? It's like he poses it like a question. And then he was, he was waiting for the answer from God. And then he said, that is a person who oppresses the orphan. And then he said, and he does not advocate in their behalf of those who are in need. Then he said, and also that person neglect their prayer. But it begins with social justice first, which is an act of helping others. Then it comes to the personal act of worship. As if he, God Almighty, connecting for us the, the, the private act of worship to the public act of worship. And the concept of faith that I'm talking about being explained in another saying of the prophet, peace be upon him. He said, be conscious of God, wherever you may be. Conscious of God. And God, you may call him in Arabic Allah, but Allah in Arabic means God. The Christian Arabs use the same thing. The Baha'i Arabs use the same thing. The, uh, the Jews who live in Arabia, they use the same word Allah. Therefore, it means God. And it means that if you are conscious of God, wherever you may be, and you're aware of his mercy, aware of his abundance upon you, then that leads you to have self-reflection. He said, be conscious of God wherever, wherever you may be, and follow the bad deeds you have done with good deeds. In other words, check yourself. Always correct yourself. Evaluate yourself. And then the third, he said, and treat people, or deal with people in the best manner. Reach out to people. It, have your conduct as you engage with people is a conduct of kindness, of mercy. You know, that's what it's all about. Is they 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 are interconnected. The relationship with God, and the relationship with ourselves, and the relationship with humanity. They are not separable. Therefore, if a person claim that he or she love God, then I want to see how much they love his creation how much they care about his creation, because that's a measurement. 